first thing I did is I applied a moisturiser. Now if your skin's quite oily and you don't really want to be putting more moisture on top of your skin, you can simply use a primer. But because my skin's going through a bit of a dry patch, I'm going to be using moisturiser just to help the foundation go on more smoothly. Next with a white foundation, I started by the centre of the face and started blending outwards and I'm going to be using three different brushes. I'm going to be using the foundation brush I'm using presently, just for applying things, a kabuki brush to really blend it into my skin and make sure that there's no patchy areas. And then later on I'm going to be using a smaller kabuki brush for around the eyes to make sure that I get everything absolutely precise. Near the hairline I'm going to be using the foundation brush I used previously and I'm going to really gently work it into the hairline just so that there's a really gentle gradient. Now you can do it in two ways, you can do it the way I'm doing or you can leave it so that there's a much more visible gap between the white foundation and your hairline. For the smaller kabuki brush I'm going to go over the eyebrows and around the eyes and make sure that everything's really nicely blended. Make sure that you bring the colour all the way down the neck. Now for the back of the neck this part is really tricky. What you want to do is have a mirror behind you and one in front and really loading up your brush. You want to draw a stripe right down and we're going to do is we're going to create a curve right down the middle of the neck and then we're going to bring the white foundation from the ears all the way down so that it connects to the bottom of the curve like so. Worst case scenario, if it's a little bit too tricky for you to do it this way, you can simply ask someone else to help you out and it's much easier if you do this because it's so easy to mess up. So now that I've drawn the circular shape at the base of my neck, starting at the bottom, I'm going to bring the colour up all the way to my ears. Once you've finished, you should be left with a shape like this, so don't be afraid to ask someone to help you out because it can be very hard to get this shape accurately. Apply the foundation over your lips, and if you have any spots, just take a little bit of the foundation on your fingers and really gently dab it onto the blemishes and then blend out. With a red blush and a script brush, I'm going to take this, and lining just on the outer corner of the eye really heavily. I'm then going to take a blending brush and blending this colour I'm going to blend upwards and spread it out really lightly across the eye. Take some black highlighter and line as close to the lash line as possible. Next with a matte lipstick I'm going to take this and you want to draw your lips really small. So if you have quite large lips or even medium sized lips, make them smaller. They have to appear really doll like and tiny. Lastly take a shade of black or red through your eyebrows and make sure that it's very neat, it mustn't be messy, no aspect of this makeup is meant to be messy. And that's it, you're done.